Okay, fellas, so here we have our Dell Optilex. You can see this is display port VGA two USB port two USB two port two USB three port and then another two USB two port Ethernet and then the mic and oh, the headphones so the rest is the power cable so i'll just connect it using my display port so let me just plug it in right here okay and then F2 Okay, so there you go. This is our BIOS, but you can see uh, say the Optilex. So let me go to the BIOS setup first. And then as you can see here uh, we have 4 GB DDR3 1600 speed. So let me uncheck this one, this one, and this one. So <coughs> okay. And here, let us choose the UFI. And then, let us apply this one. Come to advance. And then, as you can see here, uh, enable legacy option when you find. We are now legacy long without any option in UFI. So let me leave it at that. And then let's come to system configuration. Let me just disable this one. Apply. Serial port should be disabled. SATA, just like that. Okay, there we got. USB configuration, nothing to change there. Audio, okay, let's go to video. I'll just leave it at auto. So, and then let us not do anything there. Come here to secure boot can see here it's disabled so that's good and then the performance uh, okay. power management okay then virtualization so I'll enable that one Okay, so we are good to go. Just click on exit and hit F2, 12, sorry. And then select our UEFI and then hit enter. So as you can see there, our USB so just hit enter on your keyboard right so here we go okay the drill is just the same so just keep on continue 
head on to boot disk utility and then continue so let us view our device and then let us erase it and let's name it hackman just hack and then we go to GUID let's name it HD so erase Okay, so there we go. Close boot disk utility. Choose on install Mac OS Ventura. Then hit on continue. Continue. right so you don't agree agree select our hard disk and then continue so we have like 30 minutes so let us wait for it so as we wait for this if you want if you are located in Kenya and you want to buy the CPU, you, I'll leave an email where you can contact me so that you can purchase this pre-installed macOS Ventura in this machine and you can just go and use it on your daily routines. So if you are in Kenya and you need to purchase this, this video is sponsored by Terra computer sell it so if you need any computers CPU hard drive SSD NVMe just visit our shop at Eldoret and then we can get you sorted so this one I'll just sell it with the pre-installed macOS Ventura so if you're in kenya and you need to buy this machine just contact me i'll put my email in the description below or you can just go to the about on my channel and then you can contact me via email there so that i can send it to you pre-installed with this macOS ventura right here so that's it guys so and don't forget to like this video subscribe share and help me get to 1k before this year ends so that means a lot guys okay so let's just wait i'll pause the video and come back when it's done all right so it has just restarted and today as you can see right here has just returned from our hard disk which is the HD so it enter Okay, so continue.
continue. Not now. Agree. Agree. Enter your logging details. Repeat your password. Continue. Don't continue. Uncheck this one. Continue. Set up later. Okay, so here we go. Continue. Done. So, guys. Here we go, we have just installed our Ventura on our Haswell CPU. So I'm gonna go to the screencast and then we will fix the graphics. As you can see here, this is the Intel graphics HD 4600. So, see you on the screencast. Uh, newly installed Mac OS Ventura on our Haswell so as you can see here we don't have a graphics acceleration and there we go as you can see it shows 6 MBs so we need to fix that now and we're going to use the open core legacy patcher version 0 0.5.1 the latest one that supports Haswell so a link I'll, I'll put a link in the description where you can download this so just run this and then go to post install root patch and then as you can see here we have available patches is graphics uh, Intel as well so start root patching and then go to yes so enter your password
okay guys so as you can see here uh, it has done patching so we need to reboot this machine and then we'll see the results so that's what I'm gonna do right now so let me just end this video first as you can see after we have just restarted our machine you can see uh, the graphics we have a transparent bar right here and if you go to about this mark you can see here we have Intel HD graphics 4600 1536 MB so 4 GB of RAM so that's it guys that's it for the video and as you can see we have successfully installed our Ventura on the Haswell machine and before I st stop this video I wanted to thanks all my viewers subscribers and everyone who gives us, us a thumbs up it motivates me to do more videos so thank you guys and if you are not subscribed please subscribe to the video and the last thing if you are around Kenya and you want Hackintosh so this I'm selling this machine at a fair price so like I say earlier if you need this machine just leave me a email and then I will send it to you wherever you are in this country so that's it for the video guys thanks for watching subscribe 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 and i'll see you in the next one peace